I mean, I'll check again. Yeah, so. Thank you for watching cool. Crocono hey, Center as we settle yeah. in to watch the final of the Ontario Singles Crocono oh, yeah. Championship. Yeah, Quite the final pairing we have. Connor Ryman on the left playing against Justin Slater on the right. And Justin Slater is off to the early edge in this championship match. It is a first to 11 points final. And this final has a pretty significant uh, implication on the NCAA Tour. This is the final match really of the NCAA Tour in terms of standings. Connor Ryman misses there and misses big, loses his own disc and misses that 20 shot. Looking for the rebound 20 there. Three shots left for each player. Justin Slater's in a great spot up at 20 and three discs on the board. Ryman again pushing for the 20, just missing. Oh, good double from Ryman anyway. Last shot for each player though. So Justin Slater has got this one wrapped up. It's a nice take out there and Ryman would have needed a miracle shot. He just shoots it off there. And Justin Slater's up to a 2-0 lead to start off this championship final. We mentioned the implications. Justin Slater is hunting down the NCAA Tour Championship. And he was behind. He was trailing uh, Nathan Walsh earlier in the season. Walsh had got off to a great start and won three different uh, tournaments. But Justin Slater won the Hamilton title. Ooh, big miss there. Thought he could score a hanger 20 there, and this just pops against the hole. Ryman scores the tap 20. Hit it kind of hard, and he knows it. Maybe he was a little bit lucky that his 20 stuck. But Slater, uh, at the start of 2018, his only chances of winning the NCAA Tour was to rattle off three straight tournament victories, and he won in Hamilton, he won in London, and if he can com complete the hat trick here, he will win this NCAA Tour. And his Ryman has got the edge in this second round. Ryman going for his first NCAA singles title. Slater, nice rebound, or nice ricochet 20, a long ricochet. Ryman, though, answers right back with the 20. And Slater scores it there. Great round of Crocono. One point apiece. Slater leads 3 to 1. I mentioned that'd be Ryman's first singles title in the NCAA. He already has an NCAA title, and he won it with Nathan Walsh earlier this year in the Ontario Doubles Championship. And you could say that this Ontario Singles Championship is kind of a rematch because. It was Ryman and Walsh who defeated uh, Justin and Fred Slater. Slater went for that 20. The leaner didn't quite get it. Still in a good spot though. Oh, what a follow through 20 there from Ryman. Great shot there. Level in the 20s with six shots left each in this round. Lucky there for Reinman, just the leave there. Hanger shot, Slater doesn't capitalize though. No takeout there. Bit of an interesting situation we could have developing here. That's exciting, isn't it? And another disc that Slater doesn't get off the board. Ryman's got three shots left here, down a 20, but with a few discs on the board, he's got a chance to perhaps win the round unconventionally. What a takeout, that was incredible. I don't know how he got that by without taking out uh, one of his own in the five there. Unbelievable that he was able to take the shot from that angle to, to get the takeout. Slater, he was going for a bit of a conservative play there to get the double. Just, he definitely wanted to keep the shooter on, which is crucial. Ryman's not quite sure what to do here. Loses his own, but promotes his disc. So it's sitting on the 10. We're down the last shot for each player here, and Slater doesn't have a chance for a double. I have done. Oh, yeah. 
What do you do with this shot here? This is going to give Reinman a chance to roll into the middle here for the two points. And he gets it. So we're tied 3-3. I guess Slater was really just trying to push that disc out into the, into the 10. And just when he did that, though, it just opened up a bit of an angle there and made it an easy roll for Reinman. So Reinman has leveled this match, and he starts off this fourth round. Short on the first 20, though. And Slater scores the hangar 20. Short again, and Slater makes it two for two. Oh, but Slater leaves a hanger here, and Ryman scores that one to lower the gap and another chance here. Big chance here for Ryman. No, he misses it. Edge still for Slater because he's got the hammer here. A good roll out there. Two shots left for each player. I think Ryman will have to try to hide here. Oh, and it rolls a bit on him. Rolls into the open. Slater with an easy takeout and a last shot now. And Ryman, he did make a pretty good follow through earlier in this match. He's going to need another one here. He got the push. No 20, though. And Slater gets the takeout for a 5 3 lead. Justin Slater has really owned this uh, Ontario Singles Championship. He has won the last six tournaments in a row, or last six Ontario titles in a row. He's off to a good start here in this round. And if he wins today, it would actually be his eighth Ontario title overall. And that would surpass uh, Joe Fulop. In Joe Fulop and Justin Slater both currently sitting at seven titles apiece. Justin Slater would pass Fulop, which would be quite the mark, uh, the legendary player of Joe Fulop. It would also mark uh, Justin Slater's fourth NTA Tour Championship, which would uh, also surpass, or uh, make history rather, as, uh, as the most uh, NTA Tour titles. On a great roll there from Slater. In between the pegs. Pretty good action on the disc that Ryman got. But he would need a 20 on that shot. That was the best he could do, really. So Justin Slater's up 7 to 3 in a good spot here. Four points away from winning this NCAA Tour and his eighth Ontario Singles Championship title. So they're now ready to start off again after switching sides. Ryman missing his first 20 there. Another great rollout from Justin Slater. Other than that one round where he struggled to get a, a couple of Ryman discs off the board, he's had some really great board management. Forcing Ryman an appeal there. Good shot. Slater misses. Ryman's going to go for the follow through. And score the 20. Four shots left for each player. Ryman facing the rebound 20 here. Another good roll from Slater to get it over to those pegs. Ryman was just going for that slice 20. Knowing with that sort of shot, he's not going to get the the takeout, but really just going for that 20 shot. And there he was going for the takeout 20. Almost made it. On another great hit and roll from Slater. Last shot for each player now. Ryman just about scoring. Uh, that would have been a really tough 20 to make, but didn't make it. So an easy takeout for Slater and another two points for him. Now two points away from this title. There is no nine, is there? First to 11, but Justin Slater won't have the hammer advantage, so a chance for Connor Ryman to stay in and put some pressure on Slater. 
Game, game point to three. <laughs> Everything on the line here for Slater. This round. To have a record setting eighth Ontario title and a win the NCAA Tour Championship once again. <coughs> Slater being careful about which disc he selects here for a 20. Makes that one. Ryman short on his third shot. This one's close to the hole. Ryman a chance to score a 20. No, no takeout either. And another great hit and roll from Slater. Gets it to the outside. Slater's smart. He'll probably peel this one, force Ryman to go after his on his own side. Great peel there. Ryman will have to return with a peel. And two shots left for each player. Slater's got the advantage. Scores a 20 there. Ryman's got to score this one to stay in it. He does, but Slater can win the match here. And he does. Great shooting from Justin Slater. He wins this championship 11 to 3 and wins the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship title and the National Crokinole Association Tour Championship. <laughs>